Yo guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I guess it's kind of like a sit down and talk video. Today, we are doing a get to know me, get to understand who I am, get to understand who your new favorite YouTuber is. Because I've had so many questions daily, literally so many questions. Ask me about my past life. Ask me how I got to where I am now. Ask me what made me want to come over to YouTube. Today... I'm going to explain everything to you today. We're just going to chip back, chill back, grab your drink, guys, grab your popcorn, and let's just let's just get to know who I am. First steps first, guys. My real name is It's Your Girl. No, I'm joking. My real name is Katie Davis. I hate it. I know. I hate saying it. But It's Your Girl. I've had many YouTube names. I've had Randy Mupu was like one I kept for years on this channel. If you look back on like my old videos, you'd see that my name was Randy Mupu. And a lot of people ask where that name came from. And to be honest with you, I really couldn't tell you where that name came from. And then I decided, you know, that's not really a uh, very good name. Then I went to Rummage Rampage. Had no idea where that one came from either. And then I found It's Your Girl and here I've stayed for the last two, three years, maybe longer. Um, I, I like the name and I feel like everyone else who watches my channel likes the name as well. So yeah, but my original name, my real name, my birth name is Katie Davis and I'm 23 years of age. A lot of people ask me how old I am, I'm 23. And for everyone who wonders, because a lot of people do wonder this one, but uh, for everyone who wonders, I am from Wales in the United Kingdom, uh, from South Wales, Swansea. It's an awesome place to live, guys. Really, it's really awesome to live here. Nah, I'm joking. Wales is a nice place to live. I love, I, I'm so grateful that I was brought up in Wales. I'm so glad that I was brought up in Wales, but Swansea, hmm, you know, I, 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 know a, I know a million other better places to live than Swansea, but no, my dream place to move, me and my boyfriend's dream place to move is York. Uh, we're actually going there in June. We go there nearly every year or every other year. We've been there for the last like four years in a row. Um, we couldn't go last year. We normally go in January for my boyfriend's birthday. So this year we're going in June for my birthday. So it's a nice little getaway after after like a year and a half, two years in a lockdown. It's gonna be nice to get out and go on holiday and explore everything that we've missed for the last year. Growing up, it was me, my mum, my dad, and my brother. He, I have an older brother. He's like much older than me. I'll play a little bit of his music. He does like, a, he does play music. Go out and check his channel, guys. I will link it down in the comment section below. And I'm grateful to my dad. And show me who Pink Floyd is. Uh, Stone Roses, you know, my dad was a huge Oasis fan as well guys so my dad really inspired me with a lot of music and the music that I react to he inspires me to react to these music my mum she brought me up listening to you know Pink uh, Alvin Levine and all this kind of stuff and, and Eminem but we'll get into the Eminem story, story in a minute but they've honestly stuck by me for all my YouTube career like from from a child to where I am now they've stuck by me every single way I will tell you now my mum and my dad they were they they grew up punks they think my dad has always been a skinhead you know they've they they're really really inspiring people honestly my brother he he's awesome a lot of people have asked what my what my childhood was with my brother and to be honest with you we hated each other like uh you know he he was he he, he was a boy <laughs> and i was his younger sister and i was his target you know there was nothing else to it to it and still to this day i love that i love him he's my brother and i'm so glad that we are now close. We are literally closer than ever. I, many people ask what my what my first memory was, or like growing up was my like memory that I remember the most as a child. And to be honest with you, it was going to Disneyland. I was about three years of age. I've always been scared, and I mean I've always been scared of people dressed up. People dressed up absolutely scare me. I don't know what don't know what goes on in my brain when I see someone dressed up, but I just can't process that there's someone in there. So I went to Disneyland and I was absolutely petrified of Mickey Mouse because he was dressed up you know like he had a massive head I was scared so my dad picked me up and we walked over to Mickey Mouse and we started tickling his ear because he was facing the other way so we went behind him, we started tickling his ear and I was so scared I was honestly I was so scared but then he turned around and he was like Meh, you know doing the Mickey Mouse thing and it scared the crap out of me I'm not gonna lie it, it proper scared the crap out of me but that is like one of the earliest memories that I definitely have as a child growing up through 
from being a child to being where I was now, I've always been on a computer, always. My whole life, I've always been on a computer. I remember our first computer, it was literally like this, this crappy TV with this crappy tower. It was nothing perfect, it was terrible. I, I remember going on there and I'd spend hours on there. I'd spend hours on Word, I'd spend hours on Paint, I'd spend hours on games. Like, they, I'd spend so much time on a computer that by the time I got into school and started doing ICT in school, that I was just flying through it. I was a wizard at it, guys. And, and I don't think, I, a lot of people un underestimated me about how good I was on computers, but like, yeah, it's just something I've always been into. So uh, computers are something I've always been into and entertaining as well. I, I grew up and I was, I do shows for my mum and dad. I'd, I'd make them record it. I wish I could find some of the recordings and show you, but I'd like, I'd stand on the table and use it as a stage. Crazy, but to think that I was a shy kid, I'm, I've always always been a really shy person. I'm still shy to this day and I find that being shy is a powerful thing. It does give you a superpower being shy, but I've always been a shy person. And then I got to uh, comprehensive and I spent five years of my life in utter misery. I hated it. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hated it. There's only one good thing that come out of that school and come out of that my five years in that, in in that time is my boyfriend. I met him on a school trip and we ended up dating for a couple of weeks on and off, a couple of months on and off, and then we just totally, you know, we, we just vanished from each other for a couple of years. And then in, in when we were 16 in 2013, he knocked my door randomly and was like, you remember me? Um, but yeah, then five years in school were absolutely horrible. Like I hate every single second for it. Now I'm not gonna put the blame on anyone about my, my life in school. I'm not gonna pinpoint anyone in my life in school because you know, it was life, it was school, we were kids, we were idiots, we were young, we didn't really understand anything, we really didn't take anything into consideration of how people's feelings really went and that's what I like, school these days, it's still the same, you don't, at that age you don't really take in full understanding of how someone else is feeling or how you were feeling making someone else feel and during my time in school I got bullied a hell of a lot like a hell of a lot and I don't think people really understood or really realized how they were making me feel or how their bullying was affecting me or how they their actions were bullying I got locked in the toilet one time you know I, I've been I've been pinned up against a car by my neck at one point like there were a lot of stuff that went on in school that I kept hidden from the world that I kept hidden from anyone around me because I didn't really I didn't really want to admit that I was being bullied I didn't really want to say that I was being bullied I've I've grown up with ADHD I've grown up with I've grown up with dyslexia you know I grew up with these issues that I was facing that I didn't know that I was facing that I didn't understand that I was facing and no one really understood it and no one really no one really asked me about these issues no one really asked me what was going on they just pinpointed them and and would use them as an excuse to bully me like for example I there was a bunch of girls that would pretend to be my friend um, they'd speak to me they'd pretend to be my friend but they'd also take the complete and utter mick out of me and they were my friend to have a laugh and uh, you know have a joke between that group of friends and not include me in that way but be I was there for the clown I was there for them to take the mick out of me like there honestly there were there is a lot of times that I can go on about in school that I I would probably take in a whole video talking about bullying because there were a lot of incidents in school boys girls teachers even like there were there was I don't know what it is um, and now that I look at it and say it out that I kind of realized how bad it went I didn't want to go to school. I, I missed a lot of school. I missed a lot of education because of it. I I really didn't want to be there. And yeah, I didn't make it easy for myself. I had ADHD. Like I my <laughs> going through my brain was like a million it was like a fire. Honestly, it was like a fire that I couldn't put out. And still to this day I suffer with it. And I, it doesn't come out in a hyperactive way anymore, which I'm glad. It comes out in different ways. But during school, I was so hyper. During school, I was like, so, I was such a distraction. And yeah, I'll admit that I probably caused half of why I was being bullied. Like, I didn't make it easy for myself at all. But when you're going through that and you don't understand what you're going through in your head, no matter going through it with everyone else, like, it, it I don't know, it's kind of confusing in a way. To everyone, 
if you ever do watch this video, one day you discover that I've got this many <laughs> subscribers on YouTube and that dream that you told me that I'd never get have actually come true, one day when you look at this video and you see this part of the video, I just want you to know, I just want to say I, I don't hold grudges. I do not hold grudges. No, I don't like you for the way that you treated me. I'll say hi to you when you pass me in the street, but I'm not going to be your friend. See you doing well and now they want to be a part of it. Then now they want to wish you a well done when they're the persons who told you that you couldn't get there. And I just want to say one thing to you all, that if you are watching this, I just want to say this one thing, that thank you. You have made me who I am. You have made me realize that people are so two-faced, that you've made me realize that life is, life treats you the way it does to make you who you are. If you guys didn't, if you guys didn't treat me like that in school, if you guys didn't put me through five years of pure hell, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't be, I honestly wouldn't be the person I am today. Yes, I suffer with anxiety. Yes, when I see you out in the street, I want to run the other way because, not because I'm scared of you, but because of the way that you treated me in school. Now look at hate comments and they don't hurt me. I now have people judging me and it doesn't hurt me. I now have people saying silly remarks at me and it doesn't hurt me and that's because you lot taught me that people are going to be negative no matter what you do how old was i when i discovered youtube i think i must have been about 13 12 13 something like that and i discovered youtube there was there was no youtubers okay there was no like big youtubers there was no pewdiepie there was no phase clang there was no mr beats there was literally like people uploading videos to YouTube, there was no career in it, there was nothing in YouTube, it was just a platform to upload videos. But I remember seeing it, I remember finding it, and I remember dreaming that I could do this. I, I remember wanting to, to get a record to get a recorder, anything to record, and just start uploading videos. Back then, I didn't have a phone. Like, there was no phones like like there are now. There was nothing like like this back then. It was literally like this little Nokia thing, or Bl Blackberry. Like, the differences between then and now are massive, are huge. And I remember having the crappiest PC. And I, re I remember having the crappiest of phones. And looking at these, and looking at YouTube and thinking, one day, maybe one day, I'll be able to upload these videos to YouTube. And then I, I made an account and I started uploading videos to YouTube. I didn't get anywhere with it, honestly. I didn't get, I think I had like one, one subscriber. And to be honest with you, I think that was myself. I didn't get anywhere on YouTube where I wanted to be back then, but just being able to upload videos were better than not being able to do anything. Like that was what I wanted to do. That was my goal. Whenever and whenever I'd had spare time, whenever I'd have like go home, for, come home from school, and I'd had nothing to do, I'd be uploading to YouTube. Like I wouldn't do anything else but upload to YouTube. I spent days, like weeks and months, maybe even years, pretending that I was someone on YouTube just to give myself like that encouragement to keep uploading. But I've always listened to pop. I've never listened to heavy metal. Okay, ne I've never been a heavy metal fan. I've never listened to rock. I've never listened to that kind of thing. I am literally, when I say that this is my first time hearing these bands, it is generally my first time hearing these bands. There's a difference between me and other creators on YouTube when it comes to reactions. I do it because I have a passion for it. I do it because I want to do it. I do it because this is what I want in life, okay? This is, I put my everything. I've lost out in so much because of YouTube that this is my everything, okay? And I do these videos truthfully. I do these videos 100% truthfully. I've never, ever, ever faked a reaction. Other YouTubers you see who do reactions, they, you know, a lot of them you can see that they're faking it. A lot of the time they're using a webcam and a computer. There's no editing involved. Like, there is so minimum that these YouTubers do. And it gives people who, who do want to do it as a lifestyle a bad a bad name because we try our hardest every day to get these videos perfect for you guys to enjoy and you've got other ones who just go out there and ruin it and just do it and give reactors a bad name and it, it really 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 discourages discourages you to keep going when they've got other reactors giving reactors like me a bad name but one thing i will say is that i grew up listening to eminem eminem has has always been an inspiration in my life I remember being, I think I was about seven, maybe about young, about six, seven, eight, between six and eight. Um, I went on holiday with my mum and dad and 
we they was they was listening to Eminem like they'd put Eminem on and most parents most people wouldn't wouldn't play Eminem around their their kids like he has a lot of violence in his songs he has a lot of abusive language in his songs he has a lot of like swear words in his songs and playing that in front of a kid is like you know chill like there's not something you really want to play in front of your kids but I'm glad that they did because I learned to understand that Eminem's music wasn't just music it was a story and I've got to say this, if it wasn't for Eminem's song, then I probably wouldn't have got so far in school. I, I probably wouldn't have kept going in school. Eminem's song got me through, like, my worst of times. I, I, when I was uploading these videos, like, at the, at the time, I didn't care. At the time, I really didn't care what people thought because my passion was, was uploading videos. My passion was editing. My passion was making these videos. And... I really didn't care at the time, but when I uploaded them, and once part people started seeing them, I would get comp I would get the the crap ripped. I would I'd be ripped apart seriously. Like people would torment me. People would take the mick out of me. I'd have so much so much like abuse at me for making these videos, but I didn't care. Like inside, I did inside. Like every comment that people made would hurt. Every comment that people made did hurt me. But now I think of it, I'm glad that I didn't let it affect me because if I did let it affect me, like I wouldn't be here right now. If I did let it affect me, I wouldn't be at 15,000 subscribers. I wouldn't be uploading to YouTube, making this my dream. I wouldn't be able to say that I've officially become a full-time YouTuber. Like, and I think what really made, really, really made people like question me was was when people would ask me, what do you want to do when you're older? What, what's your dream job? And I'd say, I want to be a YouTuber. And they'd be like, you can't do that. That's not, not a job. And I was like, one day, one day I will make it a job. One day I will be uploading to YouTube. Then once I left school, 16, I th yeah, 16 you leave school, I disconnected myself from like everyone from school. I didn't want to know anyone from school. I just wanted to start a new chapter in my life and start a new fresh me to be honest with you i went to college and unfortunately i had to drop out of college because i was suffering with a chronic illness that i didn't even know i had at the time and i'll get onto that in a moment but i drop in i was losing a lot of education because i was missing so many days i was getting ill and i couldn't didn't know why so i couldn't go into college i you know there was a lot of reasons why i had to drop out of college and i hated it i was so behind but I enjoyed the course. The course was creative media, and obviously, like this, is, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to be a producer. Like, I wanted, to, I wanted to make make films. So, college, I had to go. Unfortunately, I had to drop out. And but during college, that's when I then got back to, with my boyfriend. Um, he knocked my door one night. One night, I was just chilling in my room, and he knocked the door, and I answered it, and he was like, "Do you want to come out for a couple of hours?" So yeah, that's when we got together and then... So yeah, um, that brings me to now, I guess. Um, for the past seven years, I've been uploading to YouTube like nearly every day as long as I can. I did have a break for about a year, um, but I've been upload uploading to YouTube as much as I can. I started off on Minecraft and I want to give a quick shout out to Zombie Fire. Now, if you have watched my videos from my old videos, you'd know who Zombie Fire is. And we was grinding every day. Like, we were getting nowhere. Like, we'd get like a couple of views. We were getting one or two subscribers a week. Like, we, were get, we weren't getting far. But the grind that we put into these videos were absolutely insane. Then I stopped doing Minecraft. I, I gave up on YouTube for about a couple of months. Like I, I, I wasn't, I was grinding so hard that I just, I just stopped. I, I couldn't do it anymore. And then I started urban exploring. So I was making videos with that. I was making little vlogs here and there. And then come my reactions. We got put into a lockdown in 2000, well, the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020. And I started making reactions and my channel's just blown up from here. And here I am now. That, that's my life. I'm not sure what else you want to know. I've tried to answer everyone's questions in one little story. I hope I've done a good job of it, but that, that's literally my life. This is literally who I am. And when I say I don't fake a reaction, I generally don't because my passion is YouTube. My goal in life is to be able to make a successful career on YouTube. My goal in life and my passion in life is to make videos, upload videos, entertain people. I'm a shy person. 
and I've never let it, I, I've always let it stop me. I, I suffer with anxiety, so anxiety and being shy put together, like I've always let that stop me. I've always had that in the way, here's me and here's my anxiety and like shyness and then now and again I'll step over it, but I always end up back over, I always end up back down. And I'm fed up of it, I'm fed up of it. So my my goal in everything is to overstep it and stay there because I am fed up of putting myself down. I'm fed up of stopping myself, hitting my potential because of anxiety or because of I'm shy, like no more, no more. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I'm not much of a talker. I'm really not good at talking. I've always got to stop and think. I suffer with ADHD, so a distraction is like my biggest thing. It takes me about five hours to record a two minute video. Like I'm so bad at distractions. But I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you guys now have an insight of who I am. I hope that you guys now understand a little bit more about me so when you watch my videos you can understand why I put so much effort into them and you can understand why I, I want this so much. It's not because I don't want to go out and get a job. I've had many jobs in my life and if I have bored you in this video I'm sorry but I hope I have entertained you in some way or another and I hope now that you all understand who I am that we can all live as a happy YouTube family. How about that? I'll see you on the next video. If you have enjoyed this video please let me know. I want to do more videos like this. I want to sit down and chat with you guys. I want to give you guys little story times here and there. So let me know what other story times you want to let me know, want, want me to do. I do have one planned to do about paranormal because before I move this, move from this house, I have to tell you a big story about this house. And I'm not telling you until I know that you guys are ready for it. And I know that you guys are wanting to see it. So uh, let's get into this. <laughs> guys, I'll see you. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. It's been your girl and... Uh, I'm out of here. Like, literally, I'm out of here. Bye, guys.